Hi, thanks for coming back to my little crafty secret. For this video, I am going to do a couple things. I'm going to let you see the process of me coloring in the stencil using watercolor pencils. And then um, most of this actually will be uh, giving you a channel update. So just really quick about the project that I'm working on here. I don't really have a a project in mind. I'm just creating it because I really love this technique. I haven't really used this stencil very much. I think I've used it mm, four times total. I'm um, not including this uh, time here. I think I'm not really sure, um, but it's not very much. And this came in a Simon Says stamp card kit. I believe it was, I think it was in the fresh air flowers card kit. Yes, I think that's when it, when I when um, I did obtain it. So it is actually a very pretty stencil. It's a four layer stencil. I'm only going to be using three layers. I'm not going to be using the shadow layer because I am adding the shadow shadow portion of it while I color in the elements. You'll see here that I color in the branch and then I go with again with a dark color and then same thing with the flowers. I go in with darker colors, a light color first, and then apply a, a, a darker color, and same with leaves. So I didn't use the third stencil. I think this came out really pretty without using the third stencil. Anyway, um, I, I wanted to give you a channel update because I, I see that it's already halfway through uh, May, and almost six months have gone by, and I haven't really done a channel update since, I think it was the first of this year, maybe the within the first week, I don't remember. But... I um, just wanted to give a channel update just to let you know where I'm at with my my goals, how far I've gotten, and um, I yeah I really haven't gotten very far. <laughs> Same story as last year. I I did have rem um keeping track with at least a part of a, one part of a goal, so I wanted to really use up my washi tape stash. I still have tons of washi tape. In fact, that Fresh Air Flowers card kit from Simon Says Stamp actually gave me three more washi tapes. So I'm, um, I was bummed about that when I saw it. I'm like, no, but um, that's okay. I, I'm going to use it. I bought it so that I can use it. I've been allowing my daughter to use it for her little craft projects. Everything she does, whether it's coloring, writing, she calls it a craft project. So when she's able to add a little color with washi tape, she gets so thrilled. So I've been using it that way. Um, it's not a lot that she does use it, but um, yeah, normally she just ends up playing with it and uses up the entire roll, not really using it. <laughs> but that's okay. That's totally okay. So there's that. And then my... Pattern paper, so I'm I'm doing pretty good. I haven't bought new pattern paper. I have obtained more pattern paper only because it was gift or it was free. Um, so free as in it was included as part of a the freebies um, from like for example scrapbook.com. I I do purchase from there as well, and it was a freebie, so I just picked it up. But I didn't actually pay for it. Does that does that count? I'm not sure. But I did obtain some new pads of paper um, because of that. I Like I said, I did get gifted some pads of paper, actually quite a few. And <clears throat> it did put me in the hole a little deeper. But um, I think uh, I have a plan for that. So I have been doing research mm -hmm. in how, how to... Um, I don't want to say give... Give away... Give away not get rid of, but give away the cards that I make. And with the pattern paper, I do like the pattern paper style. There is, it is a look um, that pattern paper does give. And I do like it. Um, and I don't, I haven't been making a lot of those lately. Only if it's in a kit, I will make pattern paper cards or other types of projects. Um, but I think for to get like mass production and cards out the door, I want to um, give some cards to Cards for Kids. And I've done a little research on them. Um, I now follow them on Instagram. So 
and I see the work that they do and kind of like what they're asking for. They're asking for like even cards with different languages. Um, so I, I do have some, I do have some dies with different languages. It just says thank you. Um, oh, and also the Spanish stamp set I got picked up from Simon Says Stamp from last year. I do have something like that. And then I do know some, um, some Spanish and some German uh, that I think I can just do a handwritten note um, in the front, like a handwritten greeting in the front, and then a handwritten note in in the card itself. So, yeah, I th I think I'll, I'm going to start participating in that. Um, that will definitely reduce the amount of uh, pattern paper that I have, and I think it would be a good use of it instead of just me kind of storing it and asking people at a certain point, hey, do you want some cards? <laughs> so... But um, I also give my cards away to churches uh, during the holidays. I do like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Fourth uh, of July, even Thanksgiving. Like I give thanks cards. My kids are too young for school right now, uh, but next year they'll be in school. Well, one of them will be in school. Uh, yeah, definitely Christmas cards um, and birthday cards is what I normally make. And so, yeah, I usually give those away in bulks, in tro droves. So anyway, um, that's where I am with my crafty uh, goals. My goals, it, you know, I haven't really been great at adhering to my goals. Um, I did, I, I am adhering to at least the challenges that I set for myself. Um, I am heavily involved with the Simon Says Stamp challenges only because they're very easy to enter. Um if it wasn't as easy as it is, and it, I probably wouldn't enter as much. I wanted to get into the lawn fun challenges, but um, there's more rules. It's still a bit stricter to enter that. You have to use everything 100% lawn fun. And so I don't have like lawn fun paper. I don't have lawn fun inks. I don't have lawn fun stencils, or I do have the stamps and dies. Um, and yeah, I... I I want to make scenes with these cards and sometimes I want to use pattern paper to do it. So I, I don't know. I, it's just a little bit more difficult with the salmon stamp challenges. You can use anything that you have. I mean, there was even one time I submitted, it was a recycle it, um, prompt one week and I submitted, um, a book that I made out of, out of a Captain Crunch cardboard, um, cereal box. So, <laughs> Yes, I did that. <laughs> and it was it was liked <laughs> by Simon Says Stamp. <laughs> anyway, so that's why I enter it uh, for the most part. It is e quite easy to enter. But I will continue to um, stay on top of those uh, three challenges. It's a Monday and Wednesday challenge. Every Monday and Wednesday they have a new prompt and then also a monthly challenge um, and I don't normally, I mean, I, I, for the most part, I do enter every challenge and I do max out, uh, as many entries as, as I can, as I, yeah, for every, for every challenge, you can do it. You can submit five entries for the Monday, Wednesday, and then it seems to be unlimited for, um, the monthly challenge. So I am, I am doing that. Um, there's some challenges I, I don't really feel prompted or inspired by, so I don't, I won't, um just make cards just to make a card for the challenge. Um, but yeah, I, um, like for this past Monday's challenge, I, I'm not entering it cause I don't really have, I'm not really prompted in any way to make cards that is based on music. Although I think I might have something like musical related, like stamps and dies, even paper, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to do it. Not this time. Give myself a break. Um, and then also for the monthly challenges and, uh, like I said, I think it's unlimited and one reason why I, okay. And there's actually two reasons is, you know, I like, I want, I really am trying to use the stuff that I have, um, meaning like unused stamps and dies that I've been collecting over the years and I haven't even used them. So that's been great for me. This has been really great for me. Also, there's things where, um, they're asking to use different types of products. So I've been doing that too and start, and hopefully using up my stash. But anyway, 
just want to give you an update. If you're not a subscriber, I would be very honored for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you if you are on Instagram, please go ahead and check me out on Instagram. You can find me at my little crafty secret dog. Um, my little secret. My, my, my little crafty secret. I can talk. I swear. Thanks. Until next time.